Hello guys, Nature from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. Welcome back to Sonic Academy for another top five free plugins video. Uh, today I've selected five of my favorite delay plugins and all of them have kind of uh, special features that kind of make them stand out a little bit from your usual delays that you get in your DAW. Uh, let's dive straight in and we'll check them out. Cheers. Right, welcome back guys. Let's dive into these delays and check them out. I've just got a copy of Anna running just for demonstration purposes. A little saw wave just with a decay turned down so we can kind of hear the effect of the, the delays. And there we go. So the first uh, delay, as I said, these ones I've kind of picked for special features. I didn't want to just pick ones that do what your DAW can do. Most DAWs have got a delay built into it. Um, so these all have little features that I really like uh, that are kind of unique to them. Um, this one, KHS Delay, is just super simple. It's one of the, the things I really like about it. You can just stick it on. It's, it takes two seconds to dial in. Um, you can set it to milliseconds, sync, you have a ping pong mode on and off. Your feedback dial, uh, a mix dial, and your sort of global panning for the delay. Uh, so really nothing special, um, but I do like the feature that it's got a ducker uh, that ducks the signal coming in. Um, so you can hear the delay currently as it is. We'll turn the feedback up for this. Uh, and watch what happens when we hit the duck uh, all the way up. We can sort of turn the feedback up and we're just gonna, it'll drop down the delay uh, when the notes are playing. And this is specifically vo uh, really good for vocals as well. Um, and you'll notice the delay will come up at the end so you can kind of catch that feedback tail as well. Just lessen that slightly. So there you have it. Super simple delay. Uh, it does come with a couple of other free plugins as well from KHS that are all pretty good as well. A little free bundle as well as Snap Heap uh, that allows you to kind of chain them together, which is really nice as well. So definitely go check that out. Um, we'll move on to the next one, which is Lagrange from Ursa Audio. So what Lagrange does is it has a delay line like the other ones, but then instead of just playing it back like a normal delay line or the, the buffer, it actually uses the buffer to sample grain samples from that. Uh, so you end up with really nice sort of textures and stuff. Um, I'll just drop the dry down and we'll just blend this in and we'll see what's happening. So you can hear that sort of granular uh, effect going on there. You've got a number of different algorithms. You can get some pretty cool phasing effects with these and pretty low delay times. So you'll notice there's quite a lot of feedback happening there with that. Um, what is quite a nice one of this is it does have a peak limiter, so you can really drive that feedback quite hard into it. Uh, these controls are all pretty self-explanatory, low-cut, high-cut filters, crosstalk, and then the peak limiter, as I mentioned. Um, your dry and wet signal. You have a little uh, EQ as well built into this. It can be swept through for nice effects as well. This also has a sidechain limiter, much like the KHS one, that you can actually drop the signal when you have audio coming in. And then, uh, obviously, if you're familiar with grain uh, samplers, this is the speed at which the grains are sampled and then the density, uh, how many of them are being sampled per um, setting that you have here. And then your delay time um, can be set up here as well. And just take a listen to a couple of the presets. So really interesting little delay plug in this uh, from Ursa Audio. Let's move on to the next one. This uh, at first glance seems pretty standard. Uh, there is one feature that I really like about this though. Um, this is the Voxenjo Tempo Delay, also for free from their website. Um, you, uh, we'll just run this through this quickly. You have this locked to BPM, host BPM or you can set the BPM up here. We'll just sync that to your host BPM. And you have a wet and dry. You can also mute, dry mute if you're running this on a send. Uh, 
Very bog standard. Uh, the way these work is on a percentage basis. So if you want to get that sort of ping pong effect, you can run, this 100 would be a sort of quarter note. We can run these at 50% and let's say 150%. And the effect then will be that sort of more ping pong y stereo delay. What I do like about this is the ability to actually apply filters unlinked to the left and right channels. Uh, so with a bit of automation, you can get some pretty interesting effects. This applies to the tremolo as well. Uh, so you can get some pretty interesting swelling. This basically applies a volume uh, shaper to the delay lines on the left and right. And then also the filter settings can be applied separately as well and then driven uh, with a drive knob here. You have a cue setting as well. Uh, we'll take a listen to this. We'll drive that quite hard. So you can see our left now has the high frequency uh, band uh, running. And the right has a slightly different effect applied to it. Uh, you can also set up your filters. So we'll do a band pass here for the left and right. So that one quite low that side. This one we'll bring up. So you can get sort of nice stereo filtering effects with a little bit of automation on this on your tracks, which is a nice addition, uh, not often seen in uh, delay plugins. They usually just sort of have a global uh, EQ applied to the delay line output. So that's Vox Enjo Tempo Delay. Uh, we're going to move on to the next, uh, which is actually a bundle. I've got four plugins here to check out. Um, I couldn't really pick one from this bundle. They're all pretty good. Uh, this is from Soundhack, it's their delay bundle. And they're all quite out there, creative effects, which I really like, um, very unique plugins. Uh, this is Flipper. Uh, so this is also a delay line, but we'll reverse the delays. Um, it's a bit more like in a buffer effect almost, but um, you'll check out what this does. So there we have it playing. And we can uh, change, we'll just tempo lock this, uh, change the flip length and you'll hear how it sort of fades between um, its settings and then eventually reverses completely. So nice little uh, effect that, uh, especially running on a send as well to keep that doesn't have a dry wet signal this so you can actually run it through a send and get that sort of reverse with the dry signals as well. Um, we're going to move on to the next one which is Bubbler. So Bubbler is also a granular delay much like Lagrange. Um, it does have a few other features uh, which Lagrange doesn't have uh, the pitch shifting for example. Uh, so we're going to just We'll just re reset some of these uh, and take a listen to what this does. Let's bring in now, these are the dry wet knobs here. So our time variation will bring up the time. It's the time of the grands. We'll have a bit of variation, bring up the feedback slightly. Pan variation will spread it out. Yeah, friends happening in stereo. Now our density. And the grain size. And I really like the pitch shifting in this. Uh, we can shift this down an octave. We also can reverse the grains as well, we'll partially reverse them. Um, let's uh, whack this down an octave and take a listen to what we get. And the octave variation as well. So 
there you have it, Pablo from Soundhack. Uh, really nice for creating textures and stuff. Uh, if you whack a reverb on top of that, you get some beautiful uh, granular textures from this plugin. Uh, the next one in the list of the Soundhack bundle is Pitch Delay. So a fairly simple setup. Um, this basically has a delay line with a pitch shifter attached to it. Uh, we'll just reset this again. And Octave Sense. And Depth. Okay, so we'll bring it dry. Got our delay line running. So you can bring the depth of the pitch now. A little bit of feedback. And we'll first do the sense. That gives you a nice chorusy effect if you especially bring down the delay times as well. It's a pretty cool chorus effect from that. And then uh, we can do this by uh, uh, pitch semitones or an octave as well, uh, which is also handy. Check out the octave. So there you have it. That is the pitch delay from Soundhack. The last one is just a standard delay, but the one feature with this is it has an LFO attached to its uh, delay time. Um, so what happens when you change the time of the delay buffer, it kind of gives you these weird wobbling effects and uh, as it moves around and tries to catch up with the differences in time. Uh, so we'll just take this out, check this out as well. I'll show you what I mean. Have our, uh, and this auto time can turn off as well. Here we have our um, delay running. Uh, Watch what happens when we dial up the depth of the LFO. They start shifting out slightly. We're gonna um, dial back on the time because it's really apparent as soon as you get shorter delays. So kind of weird effects that you get from that. Um, using it with a slight bit more finesse, you can kind of get quite usable sounds. Nice chorus effect from this as well. Anyways, that is the uh, delay from Soundhack. We've got one more to check out. Uh, this is probably the one that gets the most use out of me in the studio, uh, out of this bunch. And that is the Valhalla Freak Echo. Uh, so you can do a pretty similar thing if you've got the Valhalla uh, Delay plugin, which is the sort of big paid version of this. But one of the models that you have in there um, also covers this frequency shifting. So you have a delay line, um, pretty simple controls and mix dial, the uh, delay time, feedback, low cut and high cut filters, and then your frequency shifter. Um, you can sync it to... Uh, delay times or have it free running as well which will give you control of this knob and we'll put this into stereo mode first there you can hear the delay and then we'll dial in the frequency shifting quite slight first you'll hear the sort of filtering effect two more extreme settings I quite like using this one with the delay free running. Um, you get some pretty crazy uh, effects with this. Uh, great for making little build ups and tracks as well. Um, we'll just check out this. So that is, uh, we're gonna run this in mono mode as well because the frequency shifter tends to skew things to the left or right. So if you wanna kind of keep them balanced, we'll run in mono. 
listen to the filtering again. It's almost like Foreman filtering. Really nice flanging. So there you have it, Valhalla Freak Echo, uh, probably my favorite out of this bunch. Definitely go check that one out, completely free as well. So that brings us to the end of our five free delay plugins. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this informative. I will catch you guys again soon, right here at Sonic Academy. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.